Event 6 is the ventilation exercise. This event simulates making a hole on a roof in order to ventilate a fire. Candidates will pick up the sledgehammer from the designated area. Candidates can then place one foot on the rest provided or can stand closer to the strike zone if desired. For each strike, the candidate must raise the head of the sledgehammer above their helmet and strike the roof 25 times while maintaining control of the tool. The candidate may use two methods to strike the roof. In the first method, candidates may place both hands at the bottom of the sledgehammer for each strike. In the second method, candidates can slide one hand to the top of the sledgehammer, then slide it back down to the base while swinging the hammer in a roundhouse motion. In both methods, the head of the sledgehammer must be brought above the helmet. An improper strike is one that is not brought above the helmet or one where control is not maintained at all times. If a candidate brings the sledgehammer above the helmet then simply allows the sledgehammer to fall against the strike zone, the candidate is not maintaining control. Strikes will be counted out loud by the proctor. Improper strikes will not be counted. Be sure to replace the tool back in the green box. Event 7 is the victim removal. This event simulates removing a victim from a hazardous area. The candidate may use three methods to move the victim around the cones. In the first method, the candidate may drag the dummy by one or both arms around the course. In the second method, the candidate may grab the dummy under the arms, lifting the torso off the ground and dragging it around the course. The final method involves carrying the dummy around the course. However, this method is both time consuming and difficult. Improper techniques that may not be used are dragging the dummy by its head, feet, or clothes. Once the dummy has been dragged around the cones, the torso must be placed back in the starting box before the candidate may walk to the next event. Event 8 is the ladder removal and carry. This event simulates removing a ladder from an apparatus, carrying it on the fire ground, then replacing it back on the apparatus. There are three methods that may be used to carry the ladder. The high shoulder, the low shoulder, and the suitcase carry. The high shoulder carry involves placing the entire ladder on top of the shoulder. The candidate may place the ladder directly onto his shoulder, walk around the cones and replace the ladder back onto the mounted hooks. In the low shoulder carry, the top beam of the ladder sits on top of the candidate's shoulder. The candidate will then walk around the cones and replace the ladder back onto the hooks. The third method involves carrying the top beam in one arm like a suitcase. During this event, the candidate will be allowed two penalties. If a third penalty is incurred, the candidate will be disqualified. Penalties will include any of the following. First, if any part of the ladder touches the ground. If the candidate braces the ladder against a wall while removing or replacing the ladder from the mounted hooks. The candidate carrying the ladder in such a way as to cause their head to go through the rungs of the ladder. And finally, any time the proctor feels that the candidate has lost control of the ladder, they will be asked to ground the ladder and pick up the ladder once again under control. A penalty will be given if the candidate must ground the ladder. When placing the ladder back on the rack, the candidate must place it back in its original position. If the candidate does not place it back in its original position, they will be asked to go back and move the ladder back to its proper position. Event 9 is the crawling search. This event simulates searching for victims in a smoky or toxic environment. In this event, the candidate must crawl around a rectangle marked with green tape. This event will end once the candidate has successfully crawled around the entire rectangle. Event 10 is the stair climb with hose. 
This event simulates climbing stairs with a hose bundle to assist in extinguishing a fire in a multi-story building. There are three ways in which the hose bundle may be carried. The over the shoulder, the two hand, and the carrying strap method. The over the shoulder method involves the candidate carrying the entire hose bundle over either the right or left shoulder. Candidates may also carry the bundle in both arms, however this method is not the most efficient. The third method has the candidate carrying the hose bundle with the strap over either the right or left shoulder. When ascending the stairs, the candidate may skip steps and may hold on to the rail. The candidate may then begin to come back down the stairs once they place both feet onto the fourth floor. When going down the stairs, the candidate must hit every step. If a candidate misses a step on the way down, they will be asked to go back to the step that they missed and restart. Time will end when both feet cross the bottom step. This concludes the Tallahassee Fire Department Physical Ability Test.